DC DC is the heart of a substation. All the protection relay operate on the basis of DC. Also, circuit breaker trip coil operate if a DC is healthy. So, we should monitor the health of the DC each and every time. So friends, today I will discuss about most important topics that is impact of DC earth fault in a substation. Now, in normally most of the substation available DC voltage for protection and all other auxiliary supply is 240 volt DC supply and most of the cases there are 110 number cell each operating of approxim approximately 2.18 volt that is total voltage is 240 volt DC. Now battery charger midpoint is normally earth and that is why for a healthy system measured voltage between a positive to earth is 120 volt and negative to earth volt earth is minus 120 volt that is total positive to negative volt is 240 volt. Now to find out whether there is a earth fault between any terminal to the earth the best method is to glow a 240 volt 100 watt bulb. Under healthy system if you connect a bulb of a rating 240 volt of 100 watt between positive to earth or between negative to earth the bulb will not glow. Now suppose a DC earth fault occur that is positive to earth fault occur at point A. Uh, this earth fault is resistive earth fault. Due to this earth fault, the positive voltage will be reduced to some extent. For example, take uh, positive to earth fault uh, is 80 volt. Due to this, uh, on the other hand, the negative to earth fault will rise. That is, that will be minus 160 volt. That is the uh, the positive to earth fault uh, and negative to earth fault voltage depends on the value of resistance. If the resistance value is almost zero, that is if it is a solid earth fault, then um, the positive to earth voltage will comes to zero and on the other hand, negative to earth voltage comes to minus 240 volt. Similarly, if earth fault occur in the negative side if it is a resistive earth fault then the negative to earth fault voltage will be reduced to some extent on the same on the same hand in the other side the voltage between positive to earth voltage will be increased to that up extent for example if the negative to earth volt is 100 volt then the positive to earth voltage will comes to 140 volt if the resistive uh, value that is the it is a negative to a solid earth fault then negative to earth becomes zero volt on the other hand the positive to earth volt will be 240 volt now during condition that a positive to solid earth fault occur if you connect a bulb operating 240 volt 100 watt in between negative to earth it will glow to, to full extent as shown in, in this diagram. But it is a resistive earth fault. The glow will be little bit lower. Now in a substation, the positive DC earth fault is more common than negative to DC earth fault. Because in most of the indication circuit, in the positive is taken to the yard side or substation side for taking the isolator contact or the CB contact or breaker contact for breaker on up indication in the control and relay panel for isolator contact for isolator on up indication in the CRP panel. Now in this diagram a isolator contact uh, isolator on and isolator up contact is taken in the CRP panel for indication purpose. Now a positive earth fault occur as shown 
in the diagram that is in the cable 1 cable 1 is the positive cable which is taken to the isolator end of any isolator the return cable is two uh, two cable two cable is the isolator on indication cable and cable 3 is for isolator off indication cable now in this diagram the uh, trip coil and uh, closing coil has been shown of a circuit breaker where CC is the closing coil and 52 is the CB auxiliary contact in CB off condition there is uh, a CB uh, NC auxiliary contact in series with the closing coil circuit and uh, NO contact in series with the trip coil of the circuit breaker LS is the uh, limit switch contact for spring charge contact so if spring is charge condition then this contact will be in make position or NC position now from the control and relay panel there exists one cable to the closing circuit of the circuit breaker and for, from the CRP panel there exists a protection trip cable to the trip circuit uh, of the circuit breaker and one exists for post close supervision cable and another for pre close supervision which I have not shown in this diagram during normal operation all the DC is healthy there is no earth fault a negative will be a negative voltage that is minus 120 volt will be in the one hand of the uh, one terminal of the closing coil and trip coil as shown in this diagram now uh, already uh, we have seen that a positive earth fault occur due to the indication circuit uh, due to this the negative to earth voltage will be arised that is it will comes to minus 240 volt and this voltage will be on the <coughs> one of the terminal of the closing coil and trip coil as shown in this diagram due to existence of positive earth fault the negative voltage that is of the value of minus 240 volt will be one terminal of closing coil in the and the uh, trip coil of the circuit breaker but this voltage will not impact uh, the operation of the circuit uh, closing coil and the trip coil as um, this voltage will not uh, on the two terminal of the trip coil or closing coil in this situation a earth fault occur in the cable either in post close supervision or protection trip as shown in this diagram the trip coil um, will operate at with respect to earth the voltage in between two terminal of the trip coil is 240 volt and it will lead to trip the circuit breaker that is the mal operation of the circuit breaker will occur due to multiple earth fault in a substation also the trip coil may burn if this uh, positive to earth that is across the trip circuit trip coil this uh, voltage will persist 